Good morning. Um, not even morning time. We are going to start actually now working on the TDI and getting it now on an engine stand. I gotta pull the oil pan, try and uh, get that fixed. I wanna bring it to my job instead of doing it at my house because I could weld it really quick there. So hopefully um, my crane on my truck, I got a chain this time. Uh, crane could hopefully hold it because last time it didn't but uh gotta get a cool cold start so here you go Removed it. <laughs> um, gotta use this guy, but first we're gonna have to roll this one back, but I don't have the key, so. You go grab the key. Here you are. No battery. Right there. Looks good to me. Got enough room to roll the table through. Okay, well, start moving it. Um, I'm gonna try a new camera, see how that goes. We got, we got the stuff. I don't know if I like that camera. So I had to go buy a new bolt because I was stupid and bought freaking long ones, but it's whatever. Made me save $6 back. Um, all we got to do is put that guy onto this guy. I was going to take off the flywheel, but I also remembered I want to be stupid and um, try and get the starter from the 3.0 put onto it and somehow start it. I don't think it's going to work that well, but uh, yeah, but that's one plan there so uh hopefully that works but i will um get back to you when i get this done hopefully that's working good enough for maybe a time lapse we'll see but uh i'm gonna get it run i lied that flywheel is really thick so we're just gonna have to give her some ugga dugga and uh get it off because it's just not gonna work staying on maybe she Make sure it's the right. Yeah, it is. I know my shit. <laughs> Come back here. I could probably strip these really easy. Super happy that I'm being super careful, man. These are, I don't know why I just tried to grab that. These are apparently torque the yield, so I don't think we could reuse them. But we're gonna keep them anyways. Get that last, that last guy. Wow, that is a weird thing. Oh, there's some gasket. Oh, I see, okay. Huh, all right, well this pan has been pulled before, so keep this. <sighs> all right, get back when this is actually on now. Got her on. Seems good. I just, ugh, it's kind of scary, but whatever. Gonna go grab the rest of the jack stand. Here we are. Really nice. All we gotta do now, lift this higher. Slider on. Truck's doing really good. Okay, so now I just gotta shuffle her on. It's kind of at an angle. Gotta go higher. Should be high enough. Just gotta. Oh no. It worked. Hey, okay. there's so much on this motor. God damn. Hey. Use a pick. Shit works great. I think I used it on my 
Duramax when I did the uh, heater core part. Something now. Where does this go? Straight, straight to there, to there. Figured it out. The heater core. And where it goes back, zero idea. Maybe right here. All right, look all that it. We're gonna quickly drain the oil pan because I do gotta take it off. Hopefully soon. I'd like to do it today, but I don't think I can. It's pretty black. You guys are gonna see it, but it's like could be a, a metal thing on the end. Or a magnetic plug. Nah. Nope. She ain't magnetic. Let that go. Okay. Or she. There. Oh. Forgot about that. <sighs> this is boring. Hopefully, you're not smidged. But we're gonna grab this guy. Save everything. Now that. Hey guys, there's a, a turbo holder, a turbo mount. Wonder how the uh, Europeans go. Since they're a higher thing, they just get a completely different mount. There she go. This old girl got a little. You could hear it, maybe. A little bit of shaft play, but at the end of the day. This motor has this valve that doesn't allow it to run away. What do you think about that? Freaking thing was getting stuck. <sighs> now we're gonna pour out all the coolant. Here, Eddie. Intake. Believe it or not, I bought them. <laughs> it never dawned to me that these are both on the same side until I bought them. That's how much research I did on how they look. Gasket. All right, Eddie. There's that. I didn't come back. There was a hundred of these bolts. The RTB isn't <sighs> set from last time, so that's why it's been pushing on all that. Wonder who who took this pan off last. <laughs> she uh she's a pretty good girl. Uh rubber mallet. <sighs> At least I have oil in it. Pickup's bad. There's a hole in it. So, 
someone did zero justice at all. Um, I might buy a new pickup tube. It's pretty bad. Ugh. Okay. Won't surprise me if it's actually not the, the happiest motor now. Oil pump chain's good. A lot of high things. Not much I know. Next part of this, I'm um, going to be in my workplace. I'm gonna weld that pan crack up and uh, we'll then come back and throw that pan on and continue from there. Uh, that winded tray literally is only held on by one bolt, right? Wow, you can maybe inspect my bottom end. <laughs> okay, we'll catch you when I start welding. Got it all cleaned up. There's a crack there. Crack there, we're gonna weld both sides. It is. <laughs> Preheated and cleaned as good as I can get, so let's get it done. Let's get it back to work. Someone done. Gotta hit that inside. There it is. If I could see the screen there, we go. Well, not bad. It doesn't look like it's cracking anywhere else, I hope. It might be one spot. Might be one little tick, but there it is. Got to try your best. Not out. Anything. Seven degrees. We're back in the garage. Um, nothing really changed. Just got back from work. Um, decided that we're gonna end the um, video. Uh, it's been kind of a bit since I actually touched on this video, but gonna end it. Um, the next video on the TDI will be putting the oil pan back on, cleaning it, getting the turbo on, the intake on, deleting the EGR, using these nice plates that I made to delete it, and uh, hopefully running the little vacuum lines that are needed, and um, we should be good. Uh, probably gonna try and do the get a timing belt swap it out just cuz and after that um just really gotta wait on insurance and getting the adapter kit so after that we can um, start playing with that but hopefully you guys kind of enjoy this video the next ones are gonna be better trust me um maybe don't trust me I, I I think the next one isn't gonna be that great actually but huh, we'll see I have I really want to try and get out of this rut of just doing stuff I just want to actually put dedicated time into this so we'll see you on the next video hopefully you guys enjoyed this see you next time